Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to tell everybody, hope you guys are doing well. You know, there's a lot going on in the world and, you know, I want to say thank you for taking your time of your day, your busy day or whatever, you know, to watch my video. Um, even if you're great, that's awesome. Even if you have no worries, no stress, no problems at all, you know, I want to say thank you. But if you're watching this, you know, to keep your mind distracted, you know, um, I like to watch videos during my lunch breaks. Um, kind of keeps me out of, you know, away from work a little bit because no one really likes to work. I don't care how great your job is. Wouldn't you rather just have money fall in your lap instead of working? Because I know that I would rather, I would prefer that 10 times over having to go to work. Um, but yeah, so I just want to thank you for watching this video. Figured I'd do that first, get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, today, new shoe alert uh, from Nike had been rumored for a long time. And the thing is, you really don't ever know when a shoe is going to release. Um, I remember, I think it was on Instagram, Nike had talked about the shoe. And, you know, you can see the comments and somebody commented and said, um, when is it going to be released? When can I buy it? And they said, oh, stay tuned. Like, just look out, be on the lookout for it. We don't know yet. And then I swear, I'm pretty sure the next day it had released. Um, I thought that was funny. I, I mean, I don't understand why they wouldn't. I'm not in marketing, obviously, but I don't understand why they wouldn't want somebody to know why a shoe um, isn't being released I would think that you would want you know with their sneakers at least for the most part they do have sometimes shock drops for the most part you don't you know they tell you when the shoe is going to release I guess soccer boots cleats shoes whatever you call them for some reason they don't want people knowing I don't know I wish I would knew the the marketing scheme behind that or something because like I said if I had a product coming out I want everybody to know when it's going to come out so they can be ready to buy it or if there's another shoe that's coming out to rival it, they could decide, well, you know what, I want, I want to bid this one. But, so of course, like I said, new shoe, by the title, the Nike Phantom GT. Um, let's open it, man. First time seeing these in person. And I did end up getting the black and pink colorway. Uh, I w didn't want to get the white one, but man, it's feels are so terrible here in Florida that it just kind of makes me not want to get white that much ever again and, and just stick with black boots or colored boots, anything but white. Um, I mean, I know that's not going to stay true for the rest of my time, but <laughs> Uh, for now, black boots are the thing for me. So, of course, I went with a, let's see the official um, colorways. And it is black, metallic, silver. So, they don't mention really the, um, I guess you could say the, the, the pink part. I don't know. But 10 and a half, my size. Um, I did watch a video prior to me, you know, doing this um, unboxing, where they said that the shoe does feel um, a little bit, I guess, big. You know, he said he, he went uh, half size down and he was still okay with that. I'm hoping that my foot is big enough, I guess, is, or is okay that I don't. Um, just because, you know, that's, the, that's you know, when you order a shoe, you obviously need it to fit the right, you know, fit okay so you can actually give it a test and know if you like it or not. Um, and you gotta put it through a run. You know, I'm kind of glad Nike's right now. I don't know if it's because of the virus. Um, it could be, but they're offering 60 days to try a product. And I take advantage of that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just either because of money situations, because sometimes they drop their prices and, you know, uh, why would you pay when you can, you, you get the idea, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so they've extended their policies to 60 days. So again, if this is a shoe that you're interested in, in buying and you don't know, 
remember you have 60 days to try it 60 days i mean i could know if i like a shoe within a week or two i would say probably more so the first time putting it on um i didn't like uh the the, the vision that well and i still somehow got three pairs the venom was okay and i still ended up with like three pairs of those uh, you know see i did buy a um a vision and returned it so um but yeah i'm talking too much i know you guys are here just for the unboxing of the shoe um so again, let's, let's open it up these are my first thoughts on it there it is let's take it out of the box let's take one out there it is what do you guys think you guys are you guys a fan of it have you got to see it enough did you buy it what do you think um so the little bit that i know from it because you know i didn't really do my research on it um it's kind of based off uh the phantom uh the hyper sorry the, the hyper venom the first one that released it back in 2013 so it's based off of that a little bit they say um but I, essentially this is like would have been the hyper venom two but i don't know they gave us a whole bunch of different other phantom this and phantom that so, um, so this is the phantom gt um they do have a mid cut which is nothing but just the added collar to it again unless you really want to spend your extra money on it there's no need to get it that's my opinion unless you really want to spend just to have that out there for whatever reason because it just has no benefits to it you can't tell me it has any benefits to it um there's really no reason to really um get that um so i went with the i guess the low cut version you could say uh to try out uh, again i'm not gonna get to try these on the problem is i haven't really had any any chance to get some soccer playing you know do any type of play test so it's gonna be really tough to really try these out um because there's just right now there's no leagues going on i've been out since march you know so you can just tell oh i really like this though look at this look at this bag it looks awesome um i've really been probably terribly terribly out of shape and you know having all the new shoes that i've unboxed or reviewed i haven't had time to um try them out really i have multiples multiple pair of shoes just sitting there that i haven't got to um use so hopefully i can get these out put them on but so this is kind of like the ven the venom and the and the vision together in in, in one shoe um essentially it's a control boot helps improve your touch i don't know how um the accurate that's gonna be man i feel like if you have a good touch you have a good touch if you have good control you have good control um but one thing the sole plate you can see the sole plate here it's a little bit of a different design so it starts from here and wraps all the way around here so then when you tighten it can still hug here properly you know that so that's a little bit of a difference um the studs you kind of have a mixture of bladed here here and then with the like they're like sliced <laughs> almost you could say um conical studs hopefully that can focus in um right here uh, and basically what this is designed for this sole plate is more designed for lateral movement more to be able to um turn i guess and and go sideways more than like a mercurial who's where the sole plate is you know for speed back and forth you know this is a little bit a little bit different so um but it kind of 
the upper f does feel more like um, the vision still has a little bit of the texturing to it um, this kind of reminds me of the um, demon skin I guess you could say from Adidas I don't know if Nike had thought of this technology first because it, it if you don't know the companies when they release stuff this has already been for a long time this has been thought of you know this wasn't just like oh six months ago two months ago so, no it's probably been two or three years in the making i would say before they actually um or before they release it so i don't i think it's just coincidental i want to say unless they really just said hey adidas we're gonna take what you kind of have and just make it better i guess you could say um but even the swoosh has a little bit of texture i just noticed that when you feel that so this whole thing is about control touch you know making everything feel that much better you know um hopefully i can test it out for you guys and let you guys know i mean i don't know you guys just want reviews because i've done play tests and i don't know if anybody want to watch that anymore I feel like people just want to see unboxings and tell you, you get a quick little rundown of the boot. Um, but yeah, so now the fly knit, there's only fly knit up here in the front. No quad fit, which some people like that. Some people didn't. I think it depend, it would depend on where, where it, what, on what boot it was. I don't think people minded it on the vision, but I think people minded it on the um, tempo. So i'm more interested in the new you know when they come out with the new temple more than actually these i want to see if they listen to what people said um if they're gonna keep it leather and and get rid of all the, the flying knit or not the fine the quad fit and all that stuff so but this i'm excited to try the boot um it looks like it could be a really a really good classic shoe maybe in a few years but we'll have to try it and see um but leave your comments, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Did you do you like the initial colorways? Because um, this is, I mean, I like the colorway. I like this one, black with pink. I think it stands out. The other one's cool too, still with the white, but with the pink. But this, it just pops more on the black one. So we went with the black and the pink. And I will try it out and let you guys know for sure. Um, this is a new boot. If I'm gonna return it, if I like it, what I like about it, and what I don't. So, if you can stick around for that video and come back. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, um, like, comment. I'm trying to get to a thousand. I think I've said this before, so I can do a giveaway uh, on, a, on a on a boot, a br uh, high end, anyone you want from Nike.com. I gotta figure out how would be the best way to do the get your way fair, but I'm trying to reach a thousand, man. So if you can, you know, pass it on to other people and maybe you could win this boot. Who knows? Maybe you can win a Mercurio, but we'll see. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. Stay safe, everybody. Stay safe. Just stay safe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.